everyone, welcome back to Birds of a Feather. Today's video is something special because it's a full version requested by one of our awesome viewers. They came across our post on birdsofafeather.ca where we turned old jeans into unique planters. If you haven't seen that post yet, don't worry, we're going to walk you through the entire process right here. Color outside the lines. But before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss out any of our creative projects. Alright then, let's get started. Before we get our hands dirty, let's go over the materials you need for this project. Old jeans, make sure they're clean and ready for a new purpose. Click the link in the description for the full list of materials that you'll require. Don't forget decorative elements. These are optional, but you can add buttons, patches, or anything else to personalize your planters. So the idea behind this project is pretty simple. We're going to take old jeans that are just lying around and transform them into stylish planters. It's a great way to upcycle and add a unique touch to your indoor or outdoor garden. Let's kick off by measuring the jeans. From the hem to just above the crotch, add some height for the shoes. I ended up with 14 and a half inches for my particular jeans. Also consider the container's height for your plants. Then cut two two by twos to the calculated length. Remember, it's better to start longer. You can always trim later, but you can add on. Next, create a platform. Draw an oval shape on a quarter inch piece of plywood board and cut it out. For this small project, lightwood plywood works, but for heavier ones, go for a sturdier material. Drill two holes in the platform to position the legs as shown. Now drill through one end of the 2x2 two two to accommodate the wood screw. This is how we're going to attach the platform. As you're doing this, also make sure to countersink the screw so that there's no interfering with the planter once it's placed on the platform. We're going to temporarily screw the platform into the legs so that we can set the legs into the shoes and add the cement. Place the wooden legs in the shoes, and then we're going to move on to padding those legs. Now, let's fill out those legs. Cut a pool noodle in half and tape it to the front of each leg. If you don't have a pool noodle, soft foam or batting works too. Moving on to stability, fill those shoes with cement. But first, insert plastic bags to prevent the water from the cement mixture soaking through. Mix the quick set cement in a plastic container that's disposable and be sure to follow the package directions. It will explain how much powder and water to add into the container. It's always best to start with your water first and then you're going to add the powder into the water. As I'm mixing the cement, I use something to prop up the legs to keep them in place. Give the cement a good mix before using it, then pour it in and tamp it down well. But before you pour, be sure to remove whatever you use to prop up the legs or else it's going to become permanently embedded in the cement. Pour the cement all the way around the 2x2. Two Once it's partially filled, tamp it down to ensure even distribution, and then continue filling until it's totally full. Then lace up the shoes and tie them to set the cement. Before leaving that to dry and moving on to next steps, cut away the excess plastic with scissors. Now the exciting part, assemble your blue jean planter. Remember that the platform was only temporary until the cement dried. Now we're going to remove it in order to get the blue jeans on. Add the pants, reattach the wooden platform, and if necessary, adjust the fit. You can also add some additional padding. Feel free to tighten the jeans with a belt or glue the planter on for a more permanent setup. Now the pièce de résistance, choose plants that suit the size of your planter. I love the contrast of green against denim. 
And finally, let's add some personal touches. This is where you can really make these planters your own. Add buttons, patches, or anything else that reflects your style. A unique blue jean planter ready for your favorite plants. I hope you find this detailed video guide helpful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who love a good DIY project. Subscribe for more creative ideas and let us know in the comments your thoughts on this project and what other projects you like to see on the channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting!